Interesting. Okay, so we're back. Um, so here's what I'm curious about. So how is the stagger? How is the how is the latency now? Are you guys getting a, a, a you know, lag or it's fine? Because if you're not getting a lag, then yeah, I mean, I, I, I had no problem streaming um, Stadia, but I am struggling streaming um, this and I wonder I wonder if it is the game because I streamed some 3d games let me let me try again let me try um well fuck it let's try Assassin's Creed Valhalla that's what I wanted to try anyway and we'll give it a shot and if it works great we'll play that for a little bit and if it doesn't no problem I'll relaunch the stream and we'll play some Proteus okay but I mean this is this is your look at uh at Amazon Luna for right now um, if I wasn't streaming, I would absolutely tell you this is a great uh, experience. I'm unable to tell you that now based on what we just experienced. Oh, shit, Wonder Boy's on here. I've been wanting to play this fucking game. Um, I'm unable to have that statement now um, just because I don't know how much of it was affecting my stream or not. Uh, Luna is Amazon, uh, beloved grandson. Luna is Amazon's uh, streaming service that it's like Netflix, but for video games, it's not a console. Uh, it's, it's, you play, you play it through whatever you want. Uh, basically, um, the talking in the new assassins game is so boring. Can I skip it, Troy? Or if I load it, it's going to just make me fucking watch that shit all day. Um, Oh God, I hate that shit. Really? It's a long opening cutscene. Is that the truth? If that's the truth, fuck it. We'll play something else. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that shit. I'll play it eventually, but there's no goddamn way I'm playing that right now. Um, you've been watching people play. Has anybody played Vanquish? Is that what it's called? Valhalla, I mean. Um, it's true. Uh, you can skip it. All right, let's see. I'll try it. You know, that's the fun part about uh, Luna. Let's try it. If it sucks, we'll kill it. I don't have to install it. I don't have to wait for anything. Let's just go. Connecting. Here we go. See how long this takes. Seb Sab says, do it. You got it, pal. I'm on the job. The last AC game was great. The grinding was a pain, Rob. That's why I didn't play it. I wanted to play it. I love the theme, obviously. But I was just like, fuck this shit. I hear it's a lot of grind. Um, Castlevania 3 is on there, McWoody? Okay, I'll try that. Does Luna have its own multiplayer system? I don't think so. I know that Amazon Studios is working on like an MMO and I think it's PVE and PVP. And so I assume uh, they're going to be building that uh, or it's already built, but I don't, I haven't seen it. This is just a beta, so it's, it may not be applied yet. Something Stadia wanted to implement, ability to skip cutscenes by allowing people to share game saves. Right, right. Um... All right, let's see what's going on. I'm sitting here waiting for something, but I don't think that's Luna. Um, what's your thoughts on Calypso being a playable character in TM4? I never even really played TM4, man, so uh, I don't... I mean, didn't Sweet Tooth take over the competition or some such shit? Um, you know, uh, I, it's not... I've never really thought... Or, I, don't, I don't mean disrespect to your question. I'm saying my answer is... That's how little I thought about it. I don't, it doesn't really matter if they had a good story. That's great. Could you watch an 8K video while we're here to see if your internet speed is causing the lagging? Let me get this fucking game running first. I'm just, again, this is not me. This is happening on the, uh, uh, this is, this is, I, you know, this is the game. I don't know what they're running off of, but is, if, has anybody played this game? This looks like it's crashed though. Cause this looks like it's a, it's a frame of animation. Um, yes, you can use Sweet Tooth's ice cream truck. Absolutely. Um, hello, Heath Stevens. Nice to see you, pal. All right, here we go. So let's see what this. Let's see how this this works for us. Let's see now. Again, by the way, if you're watching this, um, the stream may start to lag bad because the last time we ran a pretty uh, 
you know, uh, demanding game through Stadia, uh, Luna, uh, all the other games worked great, um, but the heavy games, big 3D open world games chugged and killed the stream. So if the stream dies or gets choppy, I'm just going to kill it, and then I'll relaunch, and I'll be playing uh, Prote Proteus, which is fucking great, uh, off my um, Steam. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Press any key. You got it, pal. It, well, it's looking good so far, but that's like just... To enable menu narration. Uh, what? I'll just say no. Uh, let's go a little... Just... Yeah, sure. Let me play the game. I don't want to fucking get a fucking college degree to play your game. Mupo, thank you for the super chat, pal. You know I appreciate that. Nah, dog, I'm totally going back to Katana Zero. I love that fucking game. Do you think Luna will add A-rated games? Oh, I doubt it. Why would they? They don't have, they don't have porn on their streaming service, do they? Um, but would I think that would be cool? Yeah, it'd be awesome. Um... I'd, I'd check that out. I mean, I, I, I didn't know they made that many porn games. I, I Somebody sent me to a website from N4G the other day, and I was like, holy shit. They make a lot of fucking porn games. Not porn, but porn motherfucking games. Um, Silence. Shut up. Children of God. Shut up. And heed my tale of time's beginning. Are you guys starting to lag or no? All was dark. There was no stand. I don't care. There was no sea. Oh God, can I skip no it? No earth, nor sky, no grass, nor wind. I don't care. Well, it's just showing a movie right now, Dana. Fire and ice oh. Oh. Uh, let, I don't care. Game developers. Here's when I give a fuck about your lore. When I have fallen in love with your game, then I start to care. But you know what this is like? Everybody makes fun of game makers, myself included. We have no social skills. We're not good with the opposite sex, whatever. Maybe that's why games do this more than they should. Um, this is like having a relationship before you had the first, you know, 10 dates. It's like, I don't know if I like you enough yet to sit through all this shit. Let me fucking play. Let me have the experience. And then if it's like, fuck, I love this, then you can slowly start to expose me to your goddamn fucking lore. But not until then, you morons. Hey, what's happening? There you are. Okay, so now I'm at least moving the character. Okay, here we go. All right, let me know how it's looking, guys. No, I don't. Oh, that guy looks like Santa Claus. Oh, there you are, my little bringer. Go. So far, so good. Uh, is he okay? Oh, let me just walk around, you fuck. Yes. God of War, one of the best, throws you in. That's right. And you know where we got that from, Nodog? We got it from Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know where they got it from? James Bond. Think about the arrogance. Seriously, think about the arrogance on the part of the team making this fucking game. Now, I know they're a great team. People say this is one of the best AC games ever fucking made. Okay? Um, but no one cares yet. No, you don't. God. Oh. You think I can't watch a movie better than your fucking movie? Just let me play the game. Oh, oh, I'll go dance. Come on, man. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Like, drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. Right, I want you to think about something from a pure video game 
development design standpoint. That must be worth two Literally, what I've done so far is push the stick forward, um, and then somebody showed me a movie. Suit yourself. And then I'm like, okay, thanks for the control back. I pushed the stick forward, and this guy stepped in front of me, and I lost control of the goddamn game. Now, ask yourself, when you're sitting there, if you were to look at that in an abstract level, which is how you should look at your fucking game design, it's all abstraction. The brain looks at video games as abstraction um, after the initial wow factor wears off. Oh, look, once again, I've lost control of my fucking character. And now I'm going to... I don't care. I don't care. If Luna is nothing else from Amazon, they've saved me 70 fucking bucks. And again, people act, people act like, people act like, um, oh, Jeff, you're such a fucking, you know, mouth breather, knuckle dragger. You have to have action. No, I don't. My favorite game of two years ago was goddamn Return of the Obra Den. I don't need pow, pow, shoot, shoot, car chases, explosion. But I need engagement. My brain needs to be engaged. And look, you know, there's this great website called Midnight Pulp. And they, um, while, I'll tell you what, while this is playing, I'm going to show you Midnight Pulp, okay? Uh, literally, this is what I said earlier today. Hang on. I'm going to show you this. We'll come back to the game, I promise. Um, uh, so what Midnight Pulp does is I, I think they get the rights to a bunch of uh, just midnight shit films, right? Just, just crap, but fun midnight movies. And I want to show you a clip they put up this morning. And I'm like, you know what? Um, if your goddamn motion pictures or your cutscenes were as good as that, I would absolutely watch cutscenes. Uh, Midnight Pulp. Here we go. Let me, let me show you this goddamn thing. Okay, it's like if you're gonna fucking force me to watch your fucking movie, then oh, I don't know. Why don't you make a goddamn good one? Okay, watch this goddamn thing. I'm gonna bring this over here. Um, okay, this is what they show. This 45 seconds. And I couldn't take my goddamn eyes off of it. Here you go. Here you go. Now, it's stupid, but at least I'm like, okay, what the fuck am I watching? At least my brain is engaged going, what the fuck is this? And that's it, right? Now, again, I'm not really trying to say cutscenes need to be terrible midnight pulp movies, but what I'm saying is at least that's kind of interesting. But what's happening here is I'm literally just wandering around um, without much really to do. It's just like, okay, maybe the problem is they're trying to make the opening into a tutorial. <laughs> you guys, you guys. You guys, I literally, this is what I did. I, 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 I had to, I mean, map it out on a whiteboard, like when you're doing game design. When we do, when we did God of War, I had peaks and valleys of, and I'm sure Corey did the same thing, peaks and valleys on a whiteboard of like, this is when the action's intense, let's bring it down a little bit, let's pop it up, let's, you know, all, you know, to keep you engaged. If you map this out on a whiteboard, it would be cutscene, you get control of the kid for about eight seconds to push open the doors. Cut scene. You push the kid forward, uh, 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 and then another guy with the drink gets in front of him. Cut scene. Then you walk about 10 seconds, and now we're into the next cut scene. That is your flow of interactivity so far. Come on. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? No, I don't love it, Meepo. I hate it. Interactivity is the greatest fucking medium on the goddamn planet, and this is what we do to it? And I'm not mocking Assassin's Creed as a game once it gets started. And I'm not mocking Ass Assassin's Creed in terms of its wonderful technical execution. Um, at all. 
and it's creativity. It's a wonderfully creative series. But come on. Um, and yet, says McWoody, this game will sell millions. Yeah, I'm okay being in the minority. You guys clearly don't mind it. That's fine. But I fucking hate it. Fucking hate this. That looks like the fucking God of War kid. That's a little weird. Um, is that flow okay after you care? Well, yeah, Chongo, you're you're not wrong. Once I care, while I would still not be, I, I would still prefer not to be inundated with cutscenes. Once I care about the game, I'm at least a little more interested in in what's happening. Like I'm playing uh, Katana Zero right now, which I think is fantastic. Um, and at first they were like, like, oh, I'm in my therapy session in the game and stuff. And I'm just kind of like, I don't give a shit. But it got really good and really interesting. And now I'm starting to go, oh, yeah, no, I'm totally, what is this fucking thing about? It's really cool. So it's, you know, it, I mean, look, I'm not trying to be goofy or silly or whatever. But when I compare it to dating or, you know, it's foreplay. It's like you can't just fucking, I mean, you know, it, actually, you know, it's not foreplay because that implies that this is the main course. It's like dating, right? This may be the essence of the relationship, the, the deep and meaningful conversations and how connected you are at a spiritual level. And you have to have that for a great relationship, um, at least a long-term relationship. But you don't go down to dinner on your first date and sit there and, and dive right into, I hate your family, what are we gonna do about it? Um, How differently would you have handled tutorial? This isn't a tutorial. I'm literally not tutorialing. Um, well, I don't know if I agree, Nawdog. Nawdog says every site is giving this a nine, shows how stupid game journalists are. No, um, this game's gonna sell bucket loads. I'm, I'm the one who's complaining about it. Most people aren't complaining about it. Um, I hate shit like this, but millions of people show up for these games, and I'm... Oh, that was cool. I'm happy to admit I'm in the minority. I'm totally in the minority. Um, and I, I'm not, like, saying anyone's wrong that doesn't like it, but I am just telling you, I don't like it. At least now we've got a... You know, at least it's a cutscene that's like, you know, okay, it's kind of interesting. It's giving you a tutorial of what to expect cutscene wise. Right, yeah, exactly. That's that's all I know. Now what's happening now? Does anyone know? But again, by the way, we're streaming this fucking game. None of us right now are talking about streaming. None of us are talking about streaming. We're talking about the game, which is exactly what you want from a streaming service. Google's, uh, how has Luna been performing? Uh, it's been performing great for me. The real question about Luna at this point is I was running a game earlier and my stream started stuttering. Um, and I don't know how much of that was the fact that I was also uploading. I mean, you're not really uploading a lot. You're downloading a shit ton, but you're not uploading all that much. Um, you're just, it's just button inputs. So I wonder how much of that was affecting the quality of the stream. Um, but other than that though, as a player, no, it's, it's great. Um, it's weird to think that when the game was being planned, they said, okay, players won't do anything for the first 10 minutes. Um, I, you know, dude, I, I just, I, I think what it is, is people start to believe their own shit doesn't smell. Um, and they start to believe the hype of, the, that they get, oh, you know, we're storytellers. Well, you're storytellers, sure, but your storytellers in a new goddamn medium. And this is not a movie. This is interactivity. The best fucking storytellers right now, uh, you know, in the medium are probably, you know, for a while that game company was doing some great stuff. Um, the guys who made Gone Home, Nintendo tells better stories when they don't labor us with the cutscenes. Um, hire the image quality. How do I do that, NATO? Um, yeah, I'm not burning it off my computer, so let's see. Let me see if I can do that. Okay. This, they, they may automatically give you the very best you can have, um, right? Because it's, their, it's running off their computer. 
uh, 60 frames. I, don't, I have no idea what this is going to do, by the way. Um, world detail, ultra high. Yeah, you'd think since it's streaming, it would give me all of this shit, right? But let's see what happens. Um, I remember an interview you did with Ken Levine arguing about storytelling. Hello, Temporal. What did I say, Andreas? Did I come off smart? It's like, no, dude, you sound like a fucking maroon. Oh, my God. Just, just, just. All right, let's see what happens. Apply. A restart the game? Oh, not right now. I'll do it in a second, dude. I got to get to a save point. Stadia says, how much would we have to pay you to trash other platforms? Uh, you couldn't pay me to do anything like that. Um, I don't, I would never do that. Um, I would tell you what I think about something. And if I happen to like something, I'll tell you. Resident Evil 7's one of the most disliked RE games. I love that game. I can understand that it doesn't necessarily feel like a traditional RE, but it's a great game. Great VR game. Man. Yeah, it's going to overheat their PC, not mine. That's why I don't fucking mind. Now, see, I don't know if this is stuttering or this is filmmaking. Oh, this is the Animus thing. Or Anibus or Anus or whatever the fucking thing it's called. What the hell is that? I'm uh. seeing two different data streams overlapped in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams of the filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around. Why did devs put so many notes and collectibles that tell parts of the story? I can let the animus modulate your Here's, here, let me let me give you my theory from my experience, and everyone's going to be different. Uh, I'll be a lady because I like. I'm not, I'm not, we're not getting into that either because I like looking at ladies. Um, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. So I'm doing good, Cloud Gaming. How are you, sir? Um, but a lot of it is, you know, you hire writers, and writers, I love that writers have become part of teams now, but they bring their sensibilities from linear um, media. And so to them, they're not really necessarily, not all of them, but a lot of them aren't necessarily sitting around and thinking about... Um, you remember this? They're not necessarily sitting around and thinking about anything other than, oh, I need to layer my story and give nuance and give subtext and context to the characters, blah, 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 into the story. Um, and that's great if you can do it, but if you do it through things like reading notes um, or listening to audio logs, it's a terrible interactive experience. It's horrible. And I think they just don't, no one pushes back. I guarantee if I was directing the game with that shit, I'd say, I love story and game. But if you can't figure out how to tell it, 95% of it in the interactive, then I'm sorry, we're not, you know, we're not doing it. Um, hi, Chip Shop. You going somewhere? Going to go walk? I think Mom was saying we might watch a show, or I was asking Mom. Let me know. I'll see you in a bit. All right, bye-bye. Um... Have you played Subnautica? I didn't like it, no. I, I mean, it was cool, but it was too too overwhelming for me. Um, Animus says Rob has no meaning in the game anymore. It's a mean of transportation. Could be. I, I don't play enough of them. The last one I played was um, Black Flag that I really loved. Um, I loved Gone Home. Gone Home was fantastic. It's a wonderful fucking game. Um... Would I come on to your podcast? I don't know. What's your podcast about? Now, what did I just tell you? Can I please control? Oh, I can skip. I can skip. Okay. Let's see how Luna handles this game now. Here we go. All right. Now, by the way, before I start moving too much, if this game starts to, um, if this game starts to lag, I'll kill the stream. We'll come back and play Proteus because we haven't played a game this demanding yet with Luna and I think it works great with Luna so far, but it may not work great with Luna and streaming so far. Um, I have played Gre Grease or Gris before. It's, it's, I didn't love it, but I love the art style, man. Um, I agree with you. Ghost of Shushima, Shushima is insanely great with its story because they tell a good amount of it in environment. And when they don't, 
it's genuinely well done. But most in-game cutscenes are not well done. The Shishima stuff is genuinely it's pretty fucking entertaining stuff. Okay, I have not put it on ultra high settings yet. I just wanted to kind of run around first and see if we get the lag problem. Um, yeah, Alexis, Gone Home isn't for everyone, but people act like it's just crap. And I'm like, no, dude, no, it's fucking... That was a groundbreaking game for a lot of reasons. Um, will I wear a Santa beard? Yeah, sure, Bob. Why not? Just for you, Bob. I ain't, somebody says make a samurai game. That's geez. I ain't touching a samurai game. You, you know, you got to be able to, well, I played Samurai Jack this year and it was one of my favorite games of the year. And that's certainly a samurai game and doesn't come close to what they did with Tsushima. So, you know, um, okay. So wait a minute. How's it looking so far? This is pretty cool, man. This looks really good on my end. Does this mean Amazon Luna works without internet? No, of course not. It's streaming. This is running on their game systems, which I'm assuming is a PC. Yeah, Char, Samurai Jack was fucking awesome. And I'll tell you what else. I did not know. Somebody told me that Itagaki, uh, that's his company that made that. Um, look at this. It's pretty good. It looks crisp. Okay, Obs are good. Gone Home is a great example of respecting the player's intelligence. Yeah. I agree. Look at this. This is kind of cool that I'm fucking streaming this motherfucking thing. Um, Luna, Luna just, I don't think McGee Luna just launched. I, I signed up to be in their beta um, a while, I don't know, a while, like two weeks ago. And, um... Survey the area sooner. Um... Yes, that's the Itagaki, sir. Yes. The one with the glasses and the Scarface. And I got an email today where they're like, dude, you better hurry up. You're going to lose your place in line. I'm like, I never got your first email. So I don't know. There, there was a guy in here from uh, Luna a while ago. I don't know how easy it is for him to get people in or if it's really fucking hard. But um, it's my understanding is it's still in uh, beta. I did sign up to nothing yet. You should check your email again. I was, like I said, my, I got an email today that pretty much was written like, dude, you're about to lose your spot. And I'm like, you guys have never reached out to me at all. And they're under the impression they did. So maybe you should check your spam or something. Um, all right, let's go back to the lady. Find and rescue the crew. He's pretty good guys. Not too shabby. Uh, so the guy who wanted me to come on your podcast, um, I'm going to probably miss your chat. So just hit me up on, uh, our discord or my Twitter and remind me, it's like Jaffe, I'm that guy. And let's, let's kind of work out what your podcast is about, when you'd want to do it, what you'd want to talk about, um, and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm absolutely, I mean, I'm not, I'm not seriously sitting here and playing this. This is a, uh. This is more of a tech t test. Jaffe, will you pl play the new Spider-Man game? Yeah. Uh, I don't... I bought a PS5 off uh, Rotten... Uh, I hate just calling them Rotten, but it's Rotten Tonoku, I think, who's one of our uh, uh, members, Discord member. And, um, you know, it'll ship to me when it ships. I mean, he bought it... I think he got it from Amazon. And so far, it says it's planning to be delivered... I think on the 22nd or 23rd, but no, wait, I don't know. Sometime soon, but it, it might get delayed. My Xbox I ordered last night off Microsoft and it'll be here on the 20. Oh shit. It'll be here on the 23rd. Um, oh, okay. It's Tanuki, Tanuki, rotten Tanuki. Gotcha. Hey, hey. Okay, that's slowing down a little bit. That's that's a little chunky there. Hang on, let's see. It's hard to tell if that's a hit if that's a hit pause though. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, hang on a second. Okay, she's dead. Oh my! Oh my! Okay, let's respawn. You think there'll ever be a story-driven Punisher game? Um. What is the A button on? I don't have an Xbox controller. Um, 
there's there's no way for me to answer that question. I, I I have I have no idea, because it depends, right? Marvel has said they want to bring Punisher into the MCU, and certainly if that happens, um, then yeah, absolutely. Then I could see it becoming a, a franchise where they're like, oh, we can make more money. But right now, I would say probably not, just based on where it is right now. Now, here's what I'll tell you. If, oh, there's like wheat points on their bodies. That's cool. If it turns out that, oh, you see that? Interesting. I think it just, it's not lagging. It crashed. Let's see what happens. If it turns out that uh, Luna starts making exclusives, they're going to have to do things that um, uh, create, you know, they can build their game specifically from the ground up. So, okay, so wait a minute. So the game, the game is still, so Luna's meta is still going. Their OS is still going. But Valhalla crashed. Um, and I don't know, like, I've never seen a crash on, uh, on Stadia before. So I don't know. Well, see, oh my God, Crank, Crank, you, I, I tell you what, you got, you know what, guys, here's the deal. Those of us who are going to make the future and play in the future will come get you in five years living in the past. It's like, it's like, is this the Luna experience? Rest in peace. The future, ladies and gentlemen, it's in beta and it's brand new. Give it a minute. God. <coughs> it's like, you know, fuck. No, Stadia has never done that. Agree. And this is in beta. It's not, you know, it's not ready yet. So I'll say, okay, let's say, I'll say reasonable. And I will say um, something else. And I will say up until, I'm back to my QA days. Up until combat, um, it was very, very good. Once, ah, shit. Ah. Combat started, the game crashed. Music uh, or pause and didn't. God damn it, Jaffe. I can't type with this microphone away. Unpause uh, for five minutes, so I quit. Uh, Luna OS still operating. Itself was stuck. Okay. Clearly, you guys have never played an Ubisoft PC game at launch. Well, it could be that too. Could be that too. All right, I want to play one more thing in here. Um, so, okay, but I'll tell you what. So, again, what's cool about streaming services or sub services, but streaming's even better if you can do it because you don't have to worry about downloads, um, is that yeah i can try that now and i'm like you know what i'm i i'm i'm not dropping 70 bucks on that i played the uh i played the demo i like that by the way that was cool and maybe maybe i'll go back and play it but i played the demo of ubisoft's um immortals phoenix rising and that was on stadia and that played like a fucking champ so you know um it's it's it, it's definitely possible. And that was a pretty good, that was a pretty, uh, that was a pretty good deal until uh, it crashed there. Bacon Magma, you don't know anything. Bacon says they barely read that stuff. Probably got one dude looking over it. Well, first off, we've had one or two people on this chat from Luna, number one. And number two, I've worked in product development for 20 something fucking years. <laughs> Any data that came in, uh, we took to heart. We didn't always address it because we didn't always agree with it um okay nato i'll increase the settings you got it santa monica concern god of war runs at 60 frames on ps5 i will try it with my ps5 but i'm only streaming that for members baby so if you want to watch me play all the god of wars and the mickey manias and the twisted metals drop some ducats these streams will always be free always um but the game the the kind of jaffe plays jaffe games stuff like that that's going to be um that's that's behind the paywall, baby. Um, okay, wait. What is A? I don't. Okay, let me go to the bottom. Make a. I can't make a one ninety nine tier. 
Okay, let's see. No, no, I'm not. Billy, what do you mean? Come on, God of War members only. It's four dollars. It's four fucking dollars. And I'm not saying four dollars is a lot or a little. A lot of people don't have four dollars. I respect that. I'm not. I'm not. You know, and I'll always do my afternoon streams for free. And I'll always do like movie nights are members chat only, but they're free. But you know, the idea that that yeah, no, I don't care. I'm going to have the least views. It doesn't matter, man. You got to charge for products or people don't pay for them. Um, but again, this, you're not, I'm not charging you for this. I'm not charging you for Gavin and games, but you know, Alexa says I wouldn't adjust graphic settings on a Luna game. Um, I don't know. I, I'll try it and see what happens. How do you do it? You go down to the thing that says join. Um, thank you, Char. It'll, it'll eventually be up. Wait, can I not skip this shit? Come on, let me skip this shit. It'll, it'll eventually be up like the God, the Twisted Metal 1 in Movie Watch, which was like a three, four hour stream was originally for members. And then I put it up for everybody. So you can watch that. Um, if you click join, Jaffe lets you crash in his man. Yeah, right. Come on. Come on, I just want to play the game. I don't get... Oh, nice. All right, here we are. This is Luna, baby. Let's give it a shot. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, my fault. It's lagging so much it went backwards. That's a joke. It's not. I'm so bad at realistic racing games. I'm really bad at them. I don't have the Luna controller. No, I'm using my DualShock. Oh, stop, stop, stop. If I could give you a Native American discount, you goddamn right I would, sir. It's it. I, I won't even say it's the least I can do. It's, Thank the goddamn Native Americans for putting uh, Biden in office. I don't know how to make these corners. Hey, look at that. Look at that. We got ourselves a star lord. I'm not going to. You got to wait. You got to wait for the pop, baby. You got to wait for the goddamn pop. This is. Uh, we're going to pop. We're going to pop the star lord cherry. Oh, we got ourselves an Ethan. Hang on. Let's wait. Let's wait. No, we got to stop. We just got to stop. We'll wait. We'll, oh, my God. Oh my God, Ethan, Starlog, welcome, my dear pals, to the Diet Soda Soldier Brigade. We love that you're here, you, you old so-and-sos. We're going to have a good time. Let me just tell you what's going on this month. We got a Thanksgiving Day special. Uh, we've got movie night coming up. we got game night coming up. We have a Brawlhalla tournament coming up where you can win a signed sweet tooth truck like that back there on that shelf there, but it'll be in a box. It'll be, you know, unopened. There's a lot of shit coming up uh, for the, uh, and we might be playing, we might be doing a uh, Twisted Metal 2 in movie watch party with special guests, including Mel McMurrin, who was the voice of Calypso in Twisted Metal 2. A lot of stuff coming up in November. I'm going to put a link to that in the next couple of days, but for the meantime, welcome we're glad you're here. As you can see, the other members have given you, well, well, they've given you kind of the greatest thing. They've given you Diet Coke. Now, if they knew me better and they knew what actually was the greatest thing in the world, they would have given you that. But at least consider yourselves lucky for getting a Diet Coke. But I will give you both the greatest thing in the world. Yes, Alex, we are going to be doing a Strange Brigade game night. Um, nope, it's not the Zoloft. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me the best thing in the world in the, ch in the, sp in, in the, in the emotes. You know what it is. Um, nope, it's not the Zoloft. I did get a Series X, but I won't have it, Victor, until December. Come on now. 
There we go. Alexis got it. The Taylor Swift. You goddamn right. Crank got it too. That's my girl. All right, let's keep playing some. Uh, let's keep playing some Luna, shall we? Oh, Mike Garcia, don't you? <laughs> the ET game. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, are we back up? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm I'm bad at these fucking games, but it should give you an idea. I mean, let me ask you a question. If you okay, if you're a gamer, which obviously you are. And you were watching this stream, and you had... Thank you, Groovy Putzman, for the breadstick. And you had um, this quality that you're seeing on your screen. Would you still say, no, fuck streaming, it's crap? I mean, I don't know how you can play this and go, streaming is not a big part of the future. I mean, think about it. All you guys that are out there are like, oh, I didn't get an Xbox. Oh, I didn't get a... Uh, I didn't get a PlayStation 5. Those days are going to be over. You're not going to have to worry about getting an Xbox or a PlayStation 5. You're going to have to worry about, oh, shit. Luna, um, Luna just dropped the new fucking, um, uh, uh, Kojima game that they paid exclusive to do. Come on now. Um, streaming's done well is great. Love PS Now and xCloud. I, I can't play this game, but you get the idea. Victor drops a super chat. He says, Jaffe, you think Amazon might buy some big publishers? <clears throat> they need to. I mean, I don't know. They have a couple of internal development teams. They've struggled. I can tell you firsthand why some of them have struggled, have been management. And I can point to a specific manager. It's no longer there, thank God. Um, but that said, um, Victor, I think the, the thing we don't yet know about Google Stadia and um, uh, Amazon is how committed they are to this. Like when they jumped into movies, um, they clearly were like, let's spend some money. Let's bring some people on. Let's bring in some real talent and let's, let's compete. Um, if that's the same mindset they have for this, then I think the answer is absolutely. You, you, you could see them buying some publishers and, developers and paying for exclusives and such but i have no idea really what their um you know i don't i don't know what their uh you know what their commitment is um andrea says it's a zero out of ten for me my nokia looks and plays better would only recommend to blind raccoons wow wow okay fair enough pal fair enough pal all right well. they ain't getting bethesda well that's true not dog Alexa says, honestly, it's not like PS4 games are locked at 60 all the time. If someone has good internet, I don't see how it can be unplayable compared to consoles. It's true. Um, oh, it's a joke, Andreas. Okay, I mean, hey, Bacon Magma's not joking. He's totally uh, doing that. I did play Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is where I sort of got off the racing bandwagon, except for arcade racing. Like, one of my favorite games of the year is Hot Shot Racing, um, because it's like Daytona, and it's really fucking good. But no, I'll, you know, and I like Forza uh, a little bit. Um, but but every now and then, that's that's the rarity. Usually, it's they get all these semi fucking games, and I don't like that in racing. You've been enjoying PlayStation Now and Game Pass, says Rob. I'll be trying Stadia soon. Yeah, it's worth it. It's fucking free for a fucking month or a week. Just try it. I think this is free if you get well. I think they have a seven day trial period. I think. Um, Andreas says, I'm enjoying Stadia. I had to get off my high horse. I have no problems. Yeah. It's so weird. It's so weird how that's a high horse. It's just like, it's just, it's just games, man. Okay. Let's, okay. Here we go. Let's try this in, uh, in Luna. Everyone's always been telling me I should play this and I have never played it before. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can up the. Uh, I don't know if this is the kind of game where you can change the. No, you can't change the settings in this. Um, you missed your super chat. Did I? Hang on. I missed my super chat from who? Victor? Who did I miss a super chat from? Let me know. I never want to miss super chats, but I got two screens right now telling me who super chatted. The last one I got is Victor. And I answered Victor's question. Was there, I'm happy to keep talking to Victor. He don't have to pay for it. 
never have to pay to talk to me if it's a chat like this. Um, how is PlayStation now? Isn't it interesting? So play, okay, so hang on. Come on. Okay. PlayStation Now is pretty good, um, actually. The one thing about it is the games are old for the most part. Um, and I know you can be on a PC and stream it. I, You know what it is? I think, okay, the value of streaming for me, one of the big values of streaming is all about convenience and like this game. I'm just like, I'll oh, try this, boom, go, right? Um, PS4 has an app you can download to Windows, um, but for some reason it's, unless you're playing it on your PlayStation 4, like it's slower, it just, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel as just quick get in, get out. And, um, you know, and in that, I, I don't I don't use it as much, um, truth be told. But it's a good service. It definitely works well. Um, yeah, Larry Kazan and uh, uh, Sorkin. I'd hey, I'd fucking watch cutscenes from those guys. But they're good writers. They're great writers. Um, this yeah, Bug Snacks. That's right. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Who gives a shit? Yeah, see? Yeah, come on over here. PS Now has the most games, says Brandon, but true, they're a year plus older, but I'm in it for PS2 and PS3 titles mostly. Yeah, that's fair. Um, no, I, I don't... I, the PS Collection's not bad. True, that's true. Um... I should boot it up. It's not installed right now, but I'll, I'll boot it up in a little bit. Um, maybe they have improved it. That's true. Okay, well, this this game's fine if I was in the mood for it. I just, I, I just want to I want to put Luna through its paces, baby. Let's see what else. Look how fast. Ah, try something else. Try something else. Ah, stop asking me. Ah, it's beta. What do you want? Okay. Uh, let's see what else they got. Um... Yeah, will twist to be enhanced? Sure. Okay, what can we run that's really beefy as fuck? Let's try to run Valhalla again. Let's try to run Valhalla again and see if we can pick up where we left off. Let's see what happens. Hello, Fantasy Fire. It is nice to see you, good sir pal. I appreciate you being here with us. If you're a YouTube Premium member, you can get Stadia Controller and Chromecast free. I am a YouTube Premium member. It's a great service. You can use Stadia on your iPhone. I believe you, but I don't want to fucking play uh, any of those games on my phone because the controller is shit. Jaffe, you can rap battle in this Assassin's Creed. Okay, Zan, then I'm totally in. I suck at it, but... Ch Chungo says, I have PS now. My kids are always trying new shit. I don't mess with it too much. Okay, and that's the thing. Your kids, my kids, they're all growing up digital, man. They don't, they're not going to have the same weird issues that a lot of other people have about stuff like this. Reggie, how was my day? My day was pretty good, sir. How was your day? Luna is a great experience so far. Um, so Luna, okay, so Luna right now has to me the best business model. If uh, Game Pass, which I don't think they will because I'm assuming they're making a lot of fucking money. If Game Pass comes along and says, we will do subscription services, uh, for Game Pass, then you've got the best games, exclusive games, and you've got um, uh, a good business model and the right tech. Um, right now, I think Amazon has the best business model and they have um, a good price and their tech seems to work pretty good but they don't really have a lot of games yet. I mean, it's not out yet. It's still beta. Um, why would console gamers choose Stadia or Luna over xCloud or PlayStation Now, says Amar. Um, you can play Luna on your TV, I think, Michael. Um, 
I mean, right now they might not. I, I think again, I think if, okay, so X, okay. So here, here's why. Um, how do I put this? Um, Oh, I saw. Yeah, no. The Codemasters new news is not new. That's that's been known for a few days. Um, well, yeah. Who says you have to choose one over another? I mean, it's ultimately going to come down to what fucking games you've got, right? Um, and right now, obviously, Xbox has the games and the service. Um, maybe later. I don't know what X is on this controller. Um, so, I mean, it, it just comes down to the games at this point. Um, and right now, yeah, I mean, right now, okay, I'll give you an example. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking on the fly cause I'm doing like three things. Thank you. Fantasy fire. So right now this game that I'm playing at the moment, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I, I can't play this. I guess you could have the Ubisoft channel. Um, and download it if that's the case maybe if i want to put up with the download but you know i'm i okay what's happening um i have the ub uh, you know i have this on amazon and i'm not going to go out and spend 60 bucks on this because i'm playing it now with this um but again this this crashed earlier so let's see Uh, okay. Phil Spencer said Xbox Series X didn't need any launch games. The system sold out. Um, there's no lag right now. Is the stream lagging though? Look, I, I, I think the Xbox, I think they need a goddamn exclusive on their Game Pass. They really do. I think that's bad. I mean, I don't think he did it because he didn't really want to. Um, how much is Luna per month? Luna, I think, is six bucks. But this is on the Ubisoft channel. Goodbye, Crank. Good to see you, sir. Um, so the Ubisoft channel is an additional 15 bucks a month. Um, and that includes, though, a bunch of their games. Okay, is the stream getting choppy for you guys, or is it the game? Because the game's not choppy. I mean, it, it's not buttery smooth at the moment. Um, but regardless, look, whether it's Xbox, Sony, Nintendo, this is the future of how people will play video games in 10 years. Okay, the stream is a little choppy. Okay, so I'm going to go to my full screen. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay, so am I laggy? That's the question. Is the stream choppy or is the game choppy? As awful as the launch with no exclusive, says Alexis, I think they probably determined they might lose people to Sony if they waited. Yeah, I mean, look, they're, they're, they're not happy about it. Um, I can't imagine they're happy about it. But, you know, it, 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 as I made a video a couple of weeks ago, it, it, it's, it's, it's reflective of a studio that is in a lot of trouble when it comes to management, unless they're working to fix it. And I'm sure they are, but you know, I'm sure they had long discussions about, do we ship or not? Um, yeah, I can't tell if that's, la that's not lag, but I can't tell if that's precision or me being shitty. Let's see if I can get that. I don't know. I'll take it. Everything you said in the video is on the money about their management. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can collect. Yeah. But to answer your question, though, right now, and maybe one of you guys, I think somebody in the chat subscribes to the Ubisoft channel. Um, and that's not, they're not subscribing to the Ubisoft channel from streaming. Um, so if you can download this and you pay 15 bucks a month, obviously that would be better. Oh shit. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but you know, I don't like the download times. I like to jump right in and start playing, but it just kind of depends what you're into. 
but for me, I'm having a good time with this. This is a this is a this is a very positive experience for Luna right now. Um, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Is there a map? I guess I have that hawk or some such shit, right? Um, The game, I mean, the gameplay Vanquish is, I'm not really giving that my attention. It seems Assassin's Creed-y. Um, some guy in the chat is telling you to talk in Spanish. Um, I don't know Spanish. I know a couple of things, I think, but no, fuck you. That's my answer. Um, is that Crouch? That's crouch. Right. What do you see, Sune? Uh, I haven't played the 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 last um. <laughs> well, sorry, Alexis. The last um. Assassin's Creed game I played was Black Flag, which I absolutely loved. Um, Obzar says I kind of don't like when they're going with the channel model. I can see it already on Amazon Prime. Yeah, I mean, you know. But it'll only work if gamers pay for it. I was very happy, Obzar, to drop 15 bucks today because I wanted to play this and I want to play Immortals. Now, I don't see Immortals yet, but it's not out. But what I did not see on the Amazon channel is Watch Dogs Legions, so I'm not sure when that's coming. But I'd much rather pay 15 bucks for what amounts to a 30-day rental for this than 80 bucks because I think this is the Ultimate Edition. Um to own it and I, I'm not going to play this game more than probably five days anyway um, Sony haven't seen past stuff recently if you've mentioned it oh how's it compared to Stadia um, they're handing those out for free right Christopher hello hey Christopher um, how does it compare to Stadia I would say the only thing I've really noticed is that it is you know slightly maybe not as good in terms of its performance but it's really close we did have some problems with the stream lagging but i don't know enough to know if that can be attributed to that i was playing luna and stadia sorry luna and and streaming but whenever i stream with stadia it's i never have any kind of lag but that that could just be could have been my kids were hitting you know Netflix and I don't know what they were doing uh, in their rooms. So, but so far though, it's a really good, uh, Christopher, it's a really good uh, experience. I'm digging it in terms of the, I didn't say Siri, you fucking moron. Um, hey, Rayman, good to see you. Uh, how is this versus Stadia? Um, the business model of this is substantially better than Stadia's right now. The game selection is about the same, except this has the Ubisoft channel. So let me give you a great ex example. If, if you're comparing this to Stadia um, and you want to play Ubisoft games, Stadia is like, yeah, come on in. Stadia put out a tweet today that said, um, hey, new games on Stadia. And you go over there and it's this game, right? And this game is... Um, uh, 70 bucks but I went over to Luna and they're like hey come play this game and this game is 15 bucks a month I don't own it but I don't want to own it and it includes like 12 other Ubisoft games um, I've never done Xbox streaming because Xbox doesn't stream to my computer and I don't have an Android phone and I don't really like to play console games on the phone anyway okay come on now oh shit I'm used to the, am I out of arrows? I'm out of arrows. I'm used to the, um, I'm used to the Ghost Tsushima arrow slow down time. Amar just bought a Series X for Game Pass. Fuck yeah. I would like, well, okay, yeah, I would like Cyberpunk on Game Pass. They, they need to do that. They need to open up their checkbook and get themselves a two-month exclusive uh, that you can get Game Pass and get that game for free. They absolutely do. Um, and they need to pay what they need to pay. They absolutely do. Did you come up with the name Kratos from the Greek verb? It means to endure. Kratos was originally called Dominus, and we knew we weren't going to go with that name. 
and Susan Norai, who was the marketing director for God of War and Gran Turismo and Twisted Metal Black, uh, she came to a meeting and she brought a bunch of names. We all brought a bunch of names. And she's the one that suggested uh, Kratos. And um, we were all like, out of all of them, that sounded the best. And I took it around to the team and said, what do you guys think? And everyone, no one was like, oh my God, Kratos is perfect. But they were like, that's probably the best out of all of them. But I don't remember really, I, I knew I knew it was a Greek word that, um, that, that worked for the character. But I don't know if I knew what it meant beyond that. Like, I couldn't tell you what it means today. What the fuck is that? Like, it sounds like there's a few you guys in the chat that think it means something different than it does, so. Um, do you know if Phil Harrison's still working at Stadia? I believe he is. I mean, it would have been in the press um, if, if he wasn't. So you're saying it means nation. Itchy says it means more than just, it does mean nation, but it means more than just nation. I guess I should go to that question mark. Let's go to the question mark and see what it is. Okay, there's a boat over there. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing in this game, but that's okay. Um, but I mean, you know, it's the future, baby. You think devs will start going away from open world games? Yeah, if they stop selling. Um, the Diet Soda Club is for the God of War playthrough. Yeah, the, any, yeah. The only things right now that are locked to, to Diet Soda uh, is there's a thing we do every week or two called Lunch with Jaffe. And movie night um, is sometimes locked to Cult of Calypso and above. But the gameplay stuff will always be every, every member. God of War playthrough, though, is not this month. Uh, God of, uh, uh, Twisted Metal 2 in movies will be this month. God of War playthrough should be next month, probably. Um, tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. Uh, 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 uh. I could... no. oh, this isn't God. lag. This is me skipping. This is Jaffe lag. Okay. I guess there's a battle up there. Uh... Marvelousness. Where that oath breaker is holding my crew. What happens if, if Luna starts char- Again, this is what's funny. So Victor says, what happens if Luna starts charging per publisher? They might. They're doing it now for Ubisoft. And ultimately, it, it's all, you know, I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't get this about, I don't know how old you are, but I, I noticed this um, amongst younger people where, and I don't know if it reflects a lack of learning about capitalism in school or, because it's like, so let's say you like Luna and Luna comes out and they start nickel and diming you with every publisher. Um, then you just unsubscribe, right? Um, or another company rises up or Stadia says, aha, that's our in. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do, um, with you. we'll, we'll basically do it, but without charging per publisher. So it's possible they could, at which point you just kind of walk away and say, go fuck yourself. I'm not paying you anymore, Amazon. Um, yeah, well, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm testing out Luna, you fucking asshole. And yeah, now where am I wanted? You goddamn right. I'll lose you too. All right, let's go get her crew. Any other rumors of companies jumping on the streaming train? There's xCloud, Stadia, Amazon. You think Netflix will do it? Could be. Um, I know Walmart's supposed to be doing it too. I mean, you know, Sony has streaming. The, the question is, um, I don't know if you can use any controller Rayman, but I'm using, I'm using the DualShock. The question really has to do is, um, you know, will Sony ever go, we need to start competing more seriously with Game Pass? Um, if they do, great. But right now, I think Game Pass absolutely buries the fuck out of PlayStation Now. And PlayStation Now is not bad. They just don't really seem to care about, they don't, they don't seem to care about cultivating and curating their content in the way that Xbox does. Um... Hardcore PlayStation, but still haven't tried PS Now. That should tell you a lot. No, it, it tells me that you're stuck in old-fashioned ways, man. 
I mean, it's kind of a ridiculous thing. Um, you got the Series S and PS5. Nice. I got the Series X and PS5, but I haven't gotten them yet. Um, it's no different than buying Stars, HBO, Showtime. Right, yeah. It, Bukaki says it's weird that gamers have a problem or people have a problem with, for games. You know, I don't know, man. I think a lot of it's just... For all of the cleverness that a lot of gamers have, which you have to have to play games and shit, they really are a ra rather conservative bunch when it comes to embracing new tech. Um, you were considering how expensive it could be like paying 150 a month. Oh, yeah, no, you're absolutely right, but my question to you is why would you? Like, for example, I don't plan on paying... Um, Unless Ubisoft comes out with the game next month, although I think they are, they're coming out with Immortal. But once Immortal's done, I don't, I don't fucking plan on paying uh, for this channel. I, I probably will keep playing, paying for Amazon, Luna, but that's only if they keep having good games on it. So you know, I'm of the mind that most people kind of cut and open services up based on what they need. Someone's going to make a lot of money that makes an app that puts all of your services together and then says, okay, you just open that app and it's like, which one's on this month, which one's off this month? Um, and I know that sounds crazy, but I think there's that level of convenience um, because a lot of times people just let their subscription run, but you save a lot of money if you're like, I don't plan on watching anything on Disney Plus this month. I'll cancel it. Um... Bukaki says, please, please charge me $70 for one game. I don't want to pay 15 bucks for a buffet. Right, right. Sony talked about having one more actual console generation. Yeah, you never know, Michael. I mean, I'm sure Sony would like nothing to change because they're making bank right now. But, you know. Um, have you tried streaming any competitive games? I would love to, but I don't know. I don't think the services have them up. All right, let's see how this works. I don't know what fighting multiple dudes is like in this game. Okay, well, there's no sound on that guy. You do that with Netflix two times a year. They always email me a month to come back for half price. Right, right. You think Sony with the Plus collection running at 60 frames better has something that Microsoft can't compete with? Yeah, I'm sure that's that, that's what they're hoping. Hang on, let me, let me grab the phone real quick. I'll be right back, you guys. dollars for a game a couple of months down the road the price goes down we'll see we'll see i hope you're right it's a lot of ducats to ask for a game i mean a lot of people would tell you no it's worth it and it is worth it if you love the game but it takes time to figure out if it's a good game oh she's about to die okay what does she have a block let me figure this out okay she has a bow I don't know what that was. Oh shit, no, 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 oh shit, a lady killed me. Uh, reload last save. I guess, I don't, wait, no. What is A? No. Oh, these are saved games, okay. No, no. Um, this is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, Camp Planet says, I'll drop the money if I want to play it. I understand. I absolutely understand. But, you know, I, I, I want to try more things, though. Um, I don't want to buy everything. I mean, there. I just, for I'll give you an example, I just played ukulele for the first time. Um, a lot of people were telling me, oh, you'd like that. And maybe I will, but I'm glad I got to try it out on this um, and be like, oh, okay, I might pay 
12 bucks for it if it's on Steam, or I'll just play it on this service. But I wouldn't want to pay 30 bucks for that game. Um, what do I think so far about this game? I think it's what you expect. I think it's good. It's really well made. Um, I'm playing Shishima right now. I don't really need another game like this, but if I was looking for an open world game, it, it's pretty cool so far. Um, you know, the opening was obnoxious with the cutscenes and shit. Um, you're right, Nick. I ran around, skipped a bunch of text, but that's what they were giving me. That's what they offered me up, you know? Um, is this that bad Assassin's Creed? I no. this is getting great reviews. I mean, it doesn't mean anything, but I guess my answer to you is from what I hear, the critics who have played more than this than I ever will uh, say this is one of the best Assassin's Creed ever made. But I mean, I, I don't I don't play enough of them to know. Now, what's funny is Watchdog Legions, though, is not on Luna from what I can tell. I know it is part of the Ubisoft subscription package, but for some reason they're, they're not putting Luna on there. Um, not Luna. Uh, they're not putting uh, uh, legions on there. Okay, so I gotta go find my crew. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, this is new, Johnny. No, this isn't three. This isn't three. Play this game now and put Shishima on the back burner. They might remove it next week. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, they will remove things from time to time. Hey. But... That's enough. All right, let's see how multiple enemies work. Do I have a dodge? Do I have a dodge? Okay, I have a... Oh, shit. I didn't have any health. Free Stadia kit for premium. I had no idea. I just signed up and I ordered it. Oh, nice, Chongo. Excellent. Okay, reload last save. I think that's this button. It's not that button. It's that button. Um. King, you can't beat this game in a week. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect to. If I liked it, you know, I mean, I, you know, I'd keep it on my subscription as long as I have it. Uh, you can get a Stadia. I think you can get Stadia controller, right? And you can get um, the Chromecast hardware um, if you have YouTube Premium. I don't think it comes with Stadia Pro, um, but you can get the hardware that lets you stream Stadia on your television. Um, you're testing the tech limits of Series X with Rare Replay. What's Rare Replay, man? Okay, I need some fucking health. What do you do for health in this fucking game? Um, is there a dodge or a block? <laughs> Gorilla Wall, thank you so much, sir, for uh, shit, Jaffy, for uh, for subbing on the YouTube, man. I appreciate it, pal. Um, oh, a collection of rare games, gotcha. Um, okay. I'd really like to fucking, you know, get some fucking health before I go in there. Samson, you think if Sony put out a game like this, they'd get five and sixes? Why do you think that? You mean because it's kind of buggy or what? Okay, I guess that's where I'm going, into that house there. The Fallen Order is on Game Pass. What is the Fallen Order? Oh, Jedi Fallen Order. Oh, it's good. It's not amazing. It's not the best game ever made, but it's it's a really good, well above average Star Wars game. How? I really should figure out if there's a goddamn block in this game and a way to get some fucking health. Um, 
The $100 bundle's free. You have to sign up for Stadia Pro for a month, but you will likely just get the free trial, says Christopher. Otherwise, you're paying nine bucks a month. Got it. Okay. Am I going to like Ghost the more you play? Oh, good. I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I'm still in Act 1 because I'm trying to do everything. Um, all right. Let me see. Okay, this is Heavy Attack. This, I guess, Light? That's Bow and Arrow. I don't know what the fuck that is. And then, do okay, that's that's dodge. Good, I need that. Oh, but it takes up stamina. I see. Oh God, I can only dodge once per. Wait, I'm, I'm a little confused now. Um, does all this feel like the same devs or style that it did in Black Flag? Oh, um, it doesn't feel like Black Flag yet. That's what I can tell you. Um. Visually, says Rayman, is this game on Luna on par with the current version of the next-gen version? I, you know what? We're going to try real quick. Let's do a test. Let's do a real quick test. Um, let's, let's up everything, because right now everything is not up to its highest, and let's just see what happens. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, where is options? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. And it's going to make us quit the game, but we'll come right back in. But let's let's up everything. Um, so we'll go to graphics. Graphics quality ultra high. Uh, Anti-aliasing high. I don't know what that is. Um, world details ultra high. Very high. I, okay, let's see what else we got. Environment textures, let's go ultra high on those. No, well, this is already pretty high. Uh, water. All right, we made a couple of changes, but let's see what happens. Apply is X. No. Okay. Super chat, quickie by Pepe drops super chat. I appreciate it, pal. He says, why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. I like that joke, uh, Pepe. That's pretty good stuff, pal. Um, I don't know why Quickie by Pepe doesn't, uh, people don't like the puns like that. I enjoy the puns. And I don't know, Quickie, why people seem to be like, when they hear a pun, they're like, oh, like really? Like you could do better? That was pretty good, too tired. That's pretty good. Um, but people act like, oh, I'm above those puns, really? Really? Well, then you fucking make up a fucking pun, you fucking moron. I like dad jokes and puns. Quickie by Pepe, you and me, pal. Let's go out and get drunk together. I appreciate the super chat, sir. I appreciate you being here, of course. Uh, I appreciate your generosity, and I appreciate your quick wit and your joke. Shines a little light into this dark world of ours, sir. Thank you, Pepe. <laughs> Chrono says, I thought it was funny. You put a smile on my face. It was funny. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, pal. Okay. Let's see, this is set to the highest level. That is a good question. You're absolutely right. One of the promises uh, of streaming that I'm running an unsupported driver, fuck you. I don't care about drivers. This is not running off my computer, it's running off Luna's computer. Um, one of the promises of streaming is that you don't have to worry about upgrades. They're going to handle all that for you and always be running on the very best systems. Um, uh, excuse me, fellas and fletties. 
So if this doesn't look like it's um, if this if, if if this doesn't look like as good as PS5 Valhalla or Xbox, I would be kind of annoyed. I'd be like, well, wait a minute, what the fuck? I don't. Th I'm not blown away by the way it looks. It looks good, but it looks like a PS4 game. You heard in an article, says Reggie, that Sony has been taking their eyes off Japan and many devs are starting to notice. What's your take? We did talk about this a little bit on the stream the other day. Um, you know, my take on that is that uh, it's clear that Sony, like, I mean, look, Astrobot is from Studio Japan. And it's. Um, and it's also. Oh, wow. And it's also clear, hang on, let me kill this guy. It's also clear that Sony is, um, you know, they, they, they've kind of universalized the controller and they've kind of moved away from, from the Japanese version of the controller. Um, and it's, it's all standardized by American now or the West. Um, you know, I think, I think what they're making clear is they're no longer really in it for territory specific games um where it used to be that sony would be like you know what twisted metal that's good for america Wipeout, that's good for england um what's the fucking game you know there's certain games that are in japan that are really good for japan they're now kind of saying look games are getting too expensive and we're too big of a company now we want to be universal and in that it sounds like they're thinking that japan probably doesn't do that as good as the other territories um, but that's just me guessing, but it does seem that for a long time, Japan has been, um, although Astrobot was great and the new one is supposed to be great. So my take is, I think that's disappointing, but I think it's, it's par for the course with Jim Ryan saying, look, I'm not looking to do anything other than make these big monster hits, um, is what he's been saying. And it seems like an action that, that speaks to that, um, or behavior that speaks to that, you know, statement. Um, hello, Troy is filming. Thank you for the sticker. I appreciate the super chat and sticker, buddy. I appreciate the little cute little fox, whatever he's doing. He's like, yo, Jeffy, I love you. And I'm like, I love you too, little fox. Um, Kronos says smash the goddamn like on the stream. You goddamn right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kronos. I appreciate the reminder. If you like the stream, give it a like, fellas. Um, Sony's globalized. That's what it is. And it works financially, says Morgan. Yeah, I mean... That's kind of where things are these days, at least with the company that spends the kind of cash they do. I'm trying to... Okay, I really need some fucking health. This is kind of ridiculous. Hello, Joe. Welcome back, Joe. Okay. Um, my dudes are supposed to... Okay, I'm just going to go into this building. And it says I should look for an opening in the building to get in. Did Drawn to Death sell more than 100,000 copies? No, it did not. I mean, it, it, it got played by more because it was free for a month. But once it dropped $20, um, it did not. Um, have I met Kojima? I have met Kojima once or twice. Uh, nice guy, but, you know, we didn't have a lot to talk about. I mean, he can't speak that great English, and I can't speak... Um, Japanese at all. Um, right, Shuhei's focusing more on indies now. That's right. Okay, let's see. Can I get on that rope there? Let's see. I have not met Kamiya. Okay, get it, get it. Um, Johnny, thank you so much for that super chat, pal. I appreciate it a bunch. He says... The Ask Creed games, Vikings, looks like 2013, early PS4. Also, can I get some positive affirmations? Tell me it'll be okay. Okay, well, first off, um, I can't carbon date it to an era of PS4 games, um, but I can tell you that this does not look next-gen. Now, how much of that is the fact that Luna is in beta and they're not really able yet to run on super high-end computers or... Like, has any, let me ask you this, has anybody seen Assassin's Creed Valhalla running on top of the line computers? And does it look amazing? Because if it does, then it's kind of weird that this isn't looking as good as that. As for positive affirmations, um, 
I need a little bit more detail, sir. Okay, hang on, hang on. Um, but yeah, you, here's all the positive, positive, positive affirmations you need your way, sir. Uh, I hope things go well for you. But what are you trying to achieve? What's what's going on? So you guys have seen it run great on um, other computers. Oh, you're saying Valhalla's made off old gen, though. Okay, okay. So you, you've not seen this look amazing anywhere. Um, yeah, Luna is great so far uh, in terms of responsiveness, uh, Reggie. Amar says the game looks boring. I mean, the game is the game. It's Assassin's Creed, right? I mean, if, if you expected more than that... Now, I will say, I mean, the reviews have been phenomenal for this game. But I'm not a huge Assassin's Creed guy, so... Okay, just drop. Just drop. What's going on? It's hard for me to tell what's happening. Oh my god, just drop to the fucking floor, lady. Just kill, kill this motherfucker. Oh my god. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! Miles Morales got a bigger rating. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not... Yours is, a clan of is paid reviews a thing or is that a myth? Um, I... You. Hang on. I'll tell you in a second. Let me kill this guy. Hello, 2005 cool year. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will... You just killed yourself. Okay, great. Lock target. I will send you to hell herself. Zeal wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Stop the hall and fight. Is that X? What's the X button? Oh, that's the X button. to respawn me um so paid reviews um hang on i have never experienced them at sony and i guarantee you if paid reviews were a thing i would have been like drawn to death would have gotten better reviews than it did right um so and i will spare your life so I, I've never experienced it. Now, these days, it's probably a little more interesting because you've got, like, paid influencers. And certainly, I would not put it past a lot of these unprofessional YouTubers that are like, oh, man, Sony sent me something or Microsoft sent me something. Um, sweet. I get, I'll, I'll tell them I really like their shit. That may be more... Uh, of a problem but I absolutely do not think that um, I've never seen it like at a professional company I think she's gaining health back right like I've never actually seen that oh shit I've never actually seen that happen like at Sony or I mean I, you know we've heard of people talking about what's he doing nice nice i like that that was good um prince persia is gonna remake's gonna release it a whimper it could i'm looking forward to it um alana pierce said there was some bias at ign no there might be i mean i never experienced it but it wouldn't surprise me but i never saw it um I would say you can't compare an influencer to a journalist, but that line seems to be blurring. Yeah, but I'm just saying that I think in that case, you can at least point to it and go, I could see that being something that happens a lot or happens enough. Um, but I don't, I don't know where you could point to... Um, 
Yeah, 2005 says the director of the movie Fanboys, who has now just got signed to direct. Uh, it's, it's a really cool idea. What's the new thing he's doing? Um, a really cool movie idea. I forget what it was. Um, said he knew critics gave Last Jedi good reviews, but actually hated it, but they couldn't say anything because of Disney. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it is still Luna, Zach. Hello, buddy. Um, again, all I can tell you is I haven't had that experience uh, working in the industry for a very long time. Um, that doesn't mean anything other than I haven't had that experience. So, you know, if somebody said, no, Jaffe, it happens, and I have proof, I wouldn't be like, no, you're a fucking liar. I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, I don't, that's news to me. Um, Jaffe, let's be honest, you're drawn to death, didn't get the support it needed from Sony, the vast majority of gamers, no one care about IGN ratings. No, I don't, I don't agree with you. Drawn to death failed, drawn to death would not have failed at least like it did if it was, if it stayed free to play. Uh, that was our fault because Sony did say, look, it's free for a month. And everybody who owns PS Plus gets a copy. They, they, they did a good thing with that. It just the game wasn't set up to not be free to play and not expose itself to people through word of mouth better um, over time. But anyway, it is what it is. Yes, of course. Um, okay. Us. Who else is the other person? Is that it? Uh, a shield can be equipped. Okay. Okay, so, uh, okay, interesting. So I don't like, I'll give you an example. I don't like this game as much as Proteus that I played yesterday that I'll play a little bit in a bit. Um, but I'm not even aware that I'm streaming a game right now. It's, it's, that's how, that's how good this is. Um, it's, it's not even on my fucking radar that I am streaming a game. Um, it's just, it works. It just works. And what's cool about it is not only does it just work, um, but if I'm like, hey, I want to I wanna play something else, this is how fast it is. I'll say that was excellent. You guys did a good job. Uh, I'll say, okay, well, now I want to play something else. What else you got? What else you got? Uh, uh, whatever you're called, Luna. What's this? Atomics. Oh. Let's see. <coughs> that's curious. Oh, that's Fury. Oh, okay. I never played that. I heard it was good, actually. Try the Surge. Okay, where is it? Um, Surge 1 or Surge 2? Which one? Uh, the game still looks bad at 4K. Okay, the pandemic hit him with this one. Okay. Uh... Kevin Smitty, it's a uh, multiplayer arena shooter. Um, which surge though, one or two? Somebody, help me out. One, okay. Uh, classic success. Oh, sorry, we're already in. We're already in, pals. Um, Three, okay, I'll see what I can find. All right. Is Hitman on there? Uh, Josh, it's not, no. It is not. Okay. Oh, it's Souls-like? Oh, God, you guys and your fucking Souls-like bullshit. All right, here we go. Oh, Mummy Demastered was great magic until it got to, uh, it got, it, they, they had a difficulty, sp I loved that game. I was so enjoying that game. And then it got to a difficulty spike and I was just like, no, this is ridiculous. I know you're glad to be here. I don't think it has achievements, not yet. And this is just beta right now, Johnny.
I have not beaten Max Payne, no. Is it Avatar? Yeah. You were saying Luna runs great. What was your experience with Stadia? Do you think Luna has a chance? So my experience with Stadia is it runs great too. But my experience with Stadia is I think the business model is really shit. Um, this business model is exactly what they need. And right now Stadia is the only service, uh, sorry, Luna is the only service that has the business model and streaming um, to something that's not a phone but there's no doubt that the minute game pass goes streaming they're going to be the 500 pound gorilla um and then you're going to have luna is going to have to compete with their games um and exclusives and there's no indication right now that they have that coming um and i'm assuming it's only a matter of time before Stadia, um, God damn it! Before X, before Game Pass begins streaming directly to the console, and ultimately directly to the television. Uh, Phil Spencer was saying a couple of weeks ago that you can expect sooner than later uh, just a little fucking stick that plugs into your TV, and you basically have streaming Game Pass. Um, so, you know, Amazon is in a good position because they have Prime. Uh, you know, if you like and they have you Twitch, like but Amazon, if they don't, if they don't sort of come correct with either buying developers or buying exclusives or whatever, I think they're going to have a real hard time of it. Even though it's 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 been a really good experience, I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, Rig installation program running. And maybe that's the plan. Um, program complete. Streaming's come so far in the last year, Zach. Yeah, I so far. I mean, I'm 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 a fan. You believe Destruction All Stars will be the modern Twisted Metal says Vanquish? We'll see. I mean, the the new the new demo modes they dropped describing what they are. It's pretty good. Okay, hang on. Uh, okay. Man, I remember being at the very first E3. When and it was, do you know who it was that invented the lock on target? Like, no one had done lock on targets before. Um, let's see, vertical attacks. Okay, I see. Um, oh, I don't care, Vanquish. Times change, man. Um, oh, I missed the cutscene. Eh. Quickie by Pepe drops super chat. I appreciate it, buddy. He says, I can't stand being in a wheel. Oh, it's another joke. I can't stand being in a wheelchair. That's pretty good. That's a good one. That's a good joke. Every attack and action consumes stamina. Oh, of course it does. Just don't let me have fun. Always, you know, always put a meter on something so then you can force me to grind to increase the meter that wouldn't need to be there if you actually created handcrafted gameplay. Instead of algorithmic gameplay, but no, I understand. Fucking meter, whatever. Meter shit so you can unlock the meter. I got you. Um, don't flail. Fuck you. <laughs> but uh, quickie by Pepe. That's a good joke. I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I know a guy who's in a wheelchair, um, and he certainly hasn't let him let it stop him or anything. But I'd be curious. I'm going to ask him next time I talk to him. I might do a podcast with him soon, uh, or at least an episode. He covers all the Mandalorian stuff, um, and he's like, Jaffe, come on. Um, I'm going to tell him that joke and say, somebody on the stream told me this joke. Is that offensive to a guy who's actually in a wheelchair? Uh, but it's funny. It's a good joke. Uh, you know what game does stamina well, Jaffe? I don't know. Tell me. Did anybody know who came up with the fucking right, the, the lock on? Come on now. Come on now. The lock on was invented by Miyamoto. The first game that ever used it. Do you know what whatever used it? Come on now, you guys, come on, you claim you're fucking gamers. Come on, you gotta you, what what are you doing? You know what game used lock on for the very first time? Nope, not Mario. 
Not Zelda. It sound, You would have thought it was Ocarina of Time. It wasn't, though. I'm almost certain it was not Zelda. Certainly one golden eye. You know what it was? It was uh, Star Fox. Star Fox 64, I'm almost certain, came out before... Um, before... Um, what's this? Ocarina. Yeah, it was Star Fox, yeah. Um, no, James Bond didn't have lock on. James Bond was first person. Yeah, not enough ray tracing in Star Fox? Yeah, well, sorry, pal. I was never a big Star Fox fan either. I know a lot of people love it. Fade to Black had lock on in 1995. Did they? That was the sequel to Flashback. I didn't like it as much as Flashback, but was that before... Uh, was that before, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, let me just play the game. Uh, no, but it's Star Fox 64, not Star Fox on, um, not, not, not Star Fox on the SNES. Because Star Fox 64 was the game that decoupled you from the path and let you start flying around and shit. I don't like this game. This is West. This is uh, the Surge. I don't like it. Um, yeah, it's played great. Boring. Um, let's try one more. Let's try. Somebody said something that I was like, oh, that sounds like a good game to try. Um, um, You did say play the Surge 3, that's true. Um, the Sexy Blue Tail? Blue Tail? What is this? Uh, what kind of game is it? Um, Tequila Works. Can I get a genre, please? What is it? Yeah, I know what that is. Um, do I like it more than Stadia? I absolutely like the business model more than Stadia. The actual tech seems, seems pretty close. Um, seems pretty close. Uh, I've noticed since I've been playing this a lot today, it's evened out to be pretty much even. At first when I was playing this, it felt like Stadia was a little bit of a smoother streaming experience, but now it kind of feels not so much that. So, um. Let's see what this is like. Please don't show me a cutscene. Please don't show me a cutscene. Let me just play. Oh my god, let me skip this bullshit. Oh my god. Thank god. Uh, how fast is my internet? I don't know. I'll show you in a second. Um, well, that looks pretty. Let's see if we can improve the visuals. I mean, no. Uh, no, okay. All right, we'll just hit the A button. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to get the controls down. Uh, everything is so complicated these days. Just uh, just let me fucking play. No, I have to show you my, my upgrade system and my crafting system. Or, or you could design the game to be less built around algorithms and upgrade trees and whatnot. You could do that. Um, but this is cool though I would have never fucking played this game Are you kidding me there's no way I would have played this game I'm not saying I'm going to keep playing it but 
Um, I am not pushing a game streaming agenda, you moron, but thank you, Bacon. I appreciate it. Um, you want me to tell you what I have? I'll pause this for a minute. Uh, let me go to my internet thing. Hang on. Um, okay, my internet is... I think if I just bring this over, yeah, okay. So what do you do? What, what is the thing you put into the internet? It's like uh, internet speed test. Okay, here's what I got, fellas. Run the speed test. Okay, this is my uh, download is about 220 megabits per second. Um, 230, whatever, okay. Um, and my upload is about five. Is that good? Is that bad? Is that average? I have no idea. Um, so 231 download, 5 upload. So you, Kevin, where do you live? Kevin, you get um, 50 download and 4 upload. Okay. I am wired uh, right now. The upload is bad. Interesting. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm wired right now. I'll test it again. Let's see. Um, downloads great. Uploads bad. Okay. Let me uh, kill this thing otherwise. Um, but again, I am streaming. Maybe. Well, no, it shouldn't matter. It's just, it's telling you. Uh, yeah, my upload's about five or six. What should a good upload be? I wonder if my upload goes better if I turned off Luna though, right? Is 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 my upload bad because Luna's running and so I'm pushing stuff up through the system? Thirty to fifty upload is a good speed. Holy shit, man! I don't think I've ever been that good. Thirty to fifty, interesting. Equal to down. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. But do you think it's because I'm playing Luna right now? Upload might be load because you're streaming. Right, right. Uh, you're streaming to YouTube, right. So it could be that. It could be that. Uh, I'll check it later uh, when I'm not doing that. But yeah, there you go. That's that's my answer, fellas and filettis. All right. Um, what's happening? Oh shit, what? Oh, I guess there's a bad guy. Uh, okay, I don't like this. <laughs> it's, it's like, fuck you, go play something else. Exit the game. That's one of the joys. That was good, that was good, you fuckers. Okay, let's see, let's try. Uh, I don't wanna try. I already played Bloodstained. I uh, played it earlier today. Um, I, you know, I'll play it again. I didn't really like it um, because the checkpoints, but let me, let me play it for a minute. Let me, you know, that's how easy this is to just jump into a game. Um, okay. Right, I mean, it's just nothing. It's just instant. Uh, Yeah, it's not a bad it's not a bad list, man, not at all. Atticus, right. You just you just jump in jump around to what interests you. The industrial oh, don't care. Don't care. Johannes, don't care. Skip it's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even Okay. Okay, weapon. Uh, attack eight, attack eight. All right, we'll do that. Good, you're prepared. The next order of bit. Big Rigs is the first I game to have lock on? Really? Oh. 
Was that a shot? I don't know. How do they get inside? Don't care. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have not yet, Samson. The, di the the Forsaken. I saw that you posted it, but I haven't watched it yet. First time joining a stream, it's fun. Been a fan since Twisted. Thank you, man. I appreciate you being here, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the Castlevania game. It's it's made by the same guy, um, right? Isn't it made by the same dude? So how do I open this door? Do I have to kick it? Thank you, Vanquish. I appreciate that. But yeah, Stefan, welcome, buddy. It's good to have you around. So I guess I can't go in this door, right? There are certain doors that are open by holding her arm in front of her. I mean, there. Okay. This sounds like that uh, Aladdin song. It says move the sticks together. No, it's saying do this to figure out the direction of her arm. Fuck off, Saturn Tubes. You tell me. You tell me what the fuck to do, fuckhead. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That, that, that did not... That's not what the text said. But thank you, uh, Alexis. I appreciate it. Yes, Saturn Tubes, this is still the Amazon thing. Absolutely. That's what I thought, Vanquish, in this game, that the checkpoints are annoying. That's why I stopped playing this game. I got to a boss, and I was like, you're shitting me. Let me go down here and see what's down here, though. God of War 1 intro ripoff. Kind of true, huh? Kind of true. Oh, wait, I've already done this? Can I slide? Right, a whole new world. Come on now, come on now, fellas. You know that's what I'm doing. Um, the latency. Uh, so far, uh, I, I kind of forgot I'm streaming a game. That's how good it is right now, anyway. Uh, okay. Um, it looks laggy. Uh, if it does, I'm not noticing it. Um, <sighs> right, Kevin, I haven't either. <coughs> it might be you, Andre. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong, but my experience so far, I haven't seen any lag in this game. Yeah, it's on the Luna. 
There was a little bit of a lag there. I mean, not bad, but I noticed it. That's the first time I noticed it. Um, okay, aim with that, press to activate. Wait, what? Okay, flame cannon. Wait, that's different. Can they both take magic? Yeah, okay. Um, to light the cannon fuse, okay. Terrible sound effect for her to be making now. Uh, no lag from the reservation cheap internet, so good. No lag from the reservation cheap internet, so good on my source. Okay, cool. Um, Jaffe hasn't equipped weapons. Yes, I have. I have my kung fu shoes on and I got my tunic on. What else should I equip? Um, Maybe, maybe I'll like this game. I mean, again, I, I played it once before, but let, let's see. Maybe I just didn't save in the right place. Hang on, let's see what happens. What was that, anything? Atticus says he thinks other companies are going to have a hard time competing with Game Pass. I don't think you're wrong. I think once Game Pass goes to Xbox and televisions and starts streaming and doesn't just stream on um, on Android phones, I think you're absolutely right. It's going to be a real challenge. Um, McGee, um, have I played Control? Not enough. I need to play it, but I just... I haven't wanted to invest the time. I know it's good though, I've seen people play it. Castlevania switches weapons with power-ups? I don't understand. I don't have any power-ups. I mean, I, ha I have this weapon. And I have these two weapons. I have daggers and I have shoes. That's kind of all I got. Are you telling me I should be doing something else? Yeah, Stefan, for sure. PlayStation Now I have as well. Um, it, it's... I don't use it as much, and I don't know why. It doesn't... It's, you know what it is? It just, it's not as zippy. Um, and if I'm going to play something, um, I want it to be, like, on streaming, I want it, I mean, speed is of the essence, but, uh, you can stream all your Game Pass games on your phone, just not the cloud, but I can at home, okay. Generate in this game, or you have to pick something up. I don't know what MGR is. Oh, Metal Gear Resistance or Resurgence, or whatever it's called. Um, David, you're aware of Slain Black from Hell? Yes, I am. It's just too hard. Um, I was talking to the developer for a number of time, a, a while, over on Twitter. Um, I think I may have said something, something pissed him off. Because he also made another game that's like that, which is like Valfaris or something, which is a shooter. And I love the aesthetic of his games, but they're way too fucking hard. I don't, I don't like fucking hard indie games. I don't like hard games in general, but... But I love the look of his games. They look amazing. Okay, Morgan, you're loving Valhalla? Cool. I think if I hadn't been playing um, Shishima, I might like it more, but it's good. It seems like, you know, a lot of the same, but not bad. Um, a 
Omar, am I planning on collaborating with other YouTubers? I mean, yeah, if they'll have me. I mean, what, what, what do I do? <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. Hey, hang on. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see. Okay, what do I do? Hang on. Perform up to three kicks by repeating the same command. Heath Nation, good to see you, man. I am almost certain that, um, I am almost certain that, uh, uh, I can't speak anymore, so I'm getting tired. I am almost certain that Shishima will be coming to, uh, PC. Victor, Electric Playground, talks about me quite a bit. Yeah, I'll reach out to him. I definitely need to grow my stream. It's really kind of, it's really kind of anemic. Um, I mean, I have a great community, uh, but I'm always confused by like, you know, what can I do to improve it? Because I'm like, yeah, you'd think we'd have some more viewers than we do, which again, I'm grateful for any of you guys that show up. Thank you very much. But it's more of like just an intellectual exercise of you know, is, 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 is the stream missing something? And some people just keep coming back. It's like, Jaffa, you don't do any publicity or anything. So, oh yeah, I wouldn't, yeah. Well, A, the, the Paul brothers wouldn't have me. I'm not their audience. And B, I don't, I don't like people like that. You are absolute, well, you're not good enough, Bukaki, but everyone else is. I'm just talking about strategery. Okay, here we go. So now this is the... Okay. Um, Murder House. I did play Murder House. Um, I didn't love it. Um, why didn't I love it? it? You know what it is? I played it. It was good. Um, it was good, but it was very traditional. No, 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 no. I don't have a forward dash, goddammit. What do I do? Oh yeah, G4 is coming back for sure. Of all the days my boss texted me that I could stay home was the day the Series X released. That's awesome. Okay. Pixel art would be better for this game. Yeah. This game very much looks like it's a Unity game um, in terms of the animation system. Like, it almost feels like you can see the, uh, the individual joints in the character. Like a lot of the 2D Unity stuff is. This is made by the uh, Castlevania guy. Uh, it may absolutely drop frames, but I'm not noticing it. Um, shit, Jaffe. Come on, man. Like play-wise, I'm like I've said, everything I've played today with the exception of one or two places, doesn't feel like streaming at all. I, I, I would be like, oh shit, right, I'm streaming. Oh, it wasn't made by the Castlevania guy? I thought it was. The guy who wore the hat and carried the whip around? Um, this is Luna, but yes.
I, I like it. I, I like it a lot, actually. The game feels great. Um, Ryan, I'm trying to figure out what his name was. I go whatever. A co-director who's been given more fanfare than he needed. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't follow it enough to, to have a good assessment like you do. Koji Igarashi. Igarashi. Um, I sold you on this. Yeah, I mean, it's it's signed for the beta. It's good, man. Um, MGR came out before Trump even considered running for pres. That's oh, okay. Is it worth getting? Luna doesn't do the stupid bullshit of a monthly sub. No, it it doesn't. No, so upvote. This is Netflix, basically. So Luna does Luna does what Amazon Prime does. So they have a six dollar. Um, all you can eat series of games per month. Um, but then, and that's what this game is included in. Um, but then they do have individual channels. So like right now for this month, I'm paying $15 for the uh, Ubisoft channel because I want to play Immortal, Valhalla, and Legion. But I don't plan on re-upping next month. Um, so... There is no device. It's just I'm playing on my computer, and I'm playing with a dual shot. Okay, is that the bot? What? Okay, let me save. It's weird. I'm having a better experience playing this than I did the first time. I did it. Okay, so let's look at the map. What am I trying to do? Uh, I guess I'm trying to unlock the map. So let's go. Down in the lights. They, yeah, they do have their own controller, but you don't have to use it. Um, and I, I don't really plan on buying it. Gaming media hates Jaffe. Almost all my games are successful. You know, I, I don't... Oh, I got a gun. Cool. I don't know who hates who, but I can tell you that, you know, I, I, I speak to... Um, I, I tell things like I see them. doesn't mean they're right. And I'm sure that does... I had somebody tell me yesterday that I was a controversial figure. I don't know who it was. Maybe you're on the stream now. And I was like, why in the world am I a controversial figure? And they said something like, you... Um, I don't know, you, you, you say things that are unpopular. I don't fucking know what it was. I was like, if that makes somebody not like me, that my opinion, then I don't give a fuck. Um, right, I don't think so. Um, does Luna have a PC app? Y you can run it through your browser if you want to. Uh, I did download the app, um, but there is a browser option when you sign up for Luna. Uh, I am on PC, though. Um, some people in Kotaku sure do not love you, says Andreas, but I don't think Kotaku is what it used to be. Yeah, I don't, I don't care what I'm going to do. Um, do my kids love me? Do my friends love me? Do people who I make entertainment for, whatever it looks like, are they treated fairly and they're treated well by the entertainment? That's all I care about. Um, I really don't need Steven to tell his love. Um, I mean, not that I hate the guy, but I'm just like, he's the editor of Kotaku. Um, well, thank you, Bacon. I appreciate that. Mickey Mania is a running joke I've had with Jaffe for years. Really? <laughs> First time I'm kidding. All right, let's get the gun. Um, oh, I have a lot. I have a Muscatoon. Oh, ha, ha. All right, let's see how that works. Oh, fuck you, little brother. Oh, it has infinite bullets. Uh, yeah, there you go. Up vote. Kotaku, more like... Cococktoes, am I right? Uh, let's make a triple A game. I mean, it's easier, easy, much easier said than done. All right, where am I going? I need to go to the right, and then I want to go down, and then I want to go to the right. One of the things I love about this game is map reading, believe it or not. Okay, wait. Oh, hey, 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 hey. You mess with the lady, pal. Come on. Fuck you, fucker. Okay, wait a second. I'm a little confused now. So... It 
says I can go over there. I don't know how. Like that, Jaffy, you moron. Light the fucking thing. You were reading Kotaku's review on PS5. From the review, it's hard to get excited about a game console when the world is going to shit. I mean, again, yeah, I know what you mean. But the real question about that, I guess you can't light that anymore? Is, I know what you mean. But there's a, there's a certain kind of review style. Like, I, we talked about this a little bit yesterday where um, Harry Knowles is, uh, remember he used to write for Ain't It Cool News? His whole thing used to be, I'm going to review movies, but I'm going to review them kind of from the mindset of what it's like for me personally. Like, this was happening in my life and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I mean, sometimes you're into a review like that, and sometimes, like you're saying, it's like, um, are you shitting me? I don't give a fuck about, you know, your take on politics, Kotaku. Is the system good? I, don't, I, I didn't mind it. I know, what, I know what you mean. It was unorthodox, but... You know, I mean, we are in a once-in-a-lifetime experience right now with the pandemic. Um, and so the idea of someone coming along and saying, hey, uh, I want to write about a review in that context, eh, I, I can understand the value of that. Um, if that's your shtick, okay. You know, I, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I, I was like, it's perfect. I definitely noticed it was weird. It was absolutely weird. Um, hundred percent, but I didn't mind that it was weird, but it was, you're right. No, it was absolutely weird. Um, what do you need? You're crying for a mod. What do you need, pal? Kotaku's trying to get hits like everybody else, so, you know, they're going to try what they try, and if their audience likes it, they'll stay in business, and if they don't, they'll try something else. Uh, don't worry about it, Jaffe, just two normies duking it out in chat, trying to get Rob involved. Yeah, don't, don't fuck up the chat, you guys. People don't like that. Just be nice. Or just take it, maybe we should have a battle board on the Discord. Take it into that shit. better than I remember. Again, not even aware I'm streaming this fucking game. It's not even on my mind. Uh, I'm just playing a game. Okay, right. This is... I played this before. I got to this and I died and it sends me really so far back. Sleepy. How do Johan Come, Greg.
that bad, maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. Oh, I had a whip. I don't know where it went. It's going to get it. Oh yeah, the gun, the gun just lets me fight. I, I just want to get back to the big boss. I'm, I'm going to use the whip. Uh, or not the whip. I, I had something, the claymore, that did more damage. I'll be chief of your tribe. You can fund any game I want. Cool, man. What kind of budget you guys looking at? Where's the whip? Do I want the whip or do I want the sword? It's a faster attack. Let's try that first. It's pretty amazing this is streaming, you guys. It's pretty fucking amazing. I'm just saying. Oh, come on. Night Wolf is a great character, like Native American guy. You know like that? I know. I know he's not Killer Instinct. Thank you. 
I I'll show you the Luna games in just a second. I mean, I just want to try this boss one more time. I do like this game a lot more than I did before. I'm going to keep playing this. So that was great. Great experience. Um, okay. Uh, someone was asking how many games. So this right now is all of their games for their beta. Um, and this includes the $6 a month. And it also includes the $15 a month Ubisoft channel. Um, let me go to, let's see if we go to home. Uh, I want to say they, they've broken up the Ubisoft channel. So right now, I thought oh, Ubisoft channel is in beta, but it's got Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Valhalla, Primal, Far Cry, Origins, Watchdog Complete Edition, Trials, uh, New Dawn, Steep, Syndicate. What I don't think they have, though, is I don't think they have... Um, what's it called yet? They don't have... Um, um, you know what I'm talking about. The goddamn Watchdog Legions. Okay, guys, that's a stream. I'm tired. I'm fucking fried. But here's the deal. Uh, so again, tomorrow we're back with a proper uh, stream. Uh, 3, 3.15, give or take. We'll talk games. We'll play some Proteus tomorrow. I was going to play it tonight, but we, we spent a lot of time with Luna. I hope you guys, um, I don't know. I mean, you like it or hate it, I enjoyed it a great deal. I thought it was a really good service. I like their business model. I will be playing it more. But hopefully, like the stream if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more of it. Um, think about joining uh, the Jaffe uh, membership down below. There's a lot of good stuff that we're doing um, this month, every month, but certainly this month. There will be a PS5 stream, but I don't have my PS5 yet. Why does your logo look like a Native American whacking his meat? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. If I don't... To talk politics, you guys don't talk politics. It turns people off. You can do a pop, we can do a political stream later. You guys know that. All right, fellas, thanks for hanging out. You guys, thanks for the super chats. Thanks for some of the new members, and I will see you guys on the next stream. See you soon, pals. Bye.